Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm enjoying this song by Tamala Mann. I can only imagine. Ooh. <laughs> To be surrounded by your glory. Jesus. Faith is our only way to escape. Faith is the only way. I want to share with you guys one of my favorite scriptures. My favorite scripture is Psalms 27. And then among my favorites is Romans 35 through 39. I love this set of scripture. And um, before I get started, I'd like to encourage you to click like and subscribe to my channel. Click um, the notification bell so that as soon as one of my videos hit, you'll be notified. And if you're so led by the Holy Spirit, please leave a donation for me. If you click to bring up the description, it'll have my Cash App and my PayPal account information to leave a donation. It'll be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So, Romans chapter 8 verse 35 who shall separate us from the love of Christ who there's no one there's no one but it asks us the question shall tribulation will we allow tribulation to separate us from Christ or distress will we the believer allow distress to separate us from Christ or persecution will we allow persecution in our lives our spiritual life our physical life our emotional life will we allow that to separate us or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. If we had to die by the sword, for Christ's sake, will we allow that to, to separate us? My answer is no, no. Verse 36, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Number 37, nay, in all things, we are more then cockwars through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And notice the word, nor angels was in there. Not all angels are good angels or angels of light. 
there are angels of darkness. It says, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. There is no love for us from God without Jesus Christ, the Lord, our Lord, our Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being our mediator, for being that connection back to God. For whatever reasons, whether we understand it or not, Something happened and we were disconnected. And I thank you, Lord, today for your Holy Spirit, your comforter, you know, for the divine and feminine energies and for all the angels and all the ways, the different ways that you communicate to each of us through each of us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Wow. Wow. Nothing will separate me from the love of God because I am a believer in His Son, Jesus Christ. I do. I do. I am a believer. Continually. Continually. Every day. To the best of my ability. That's all any of us can do. What more can be done? Nothing so separate me. Nothing. Nothing. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Of whom? No one. No one, no thing. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon. Will there be weapons? Yes, there will be weapons. Formed against me. But shall they prosper? No, they shall not. Shall they cause some kind of harm to me? They may. But I am a conqueror. According to this scripture here. It says that. We are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. More than conquerors. Hallelujah, hallelujah. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. Hallelujah. <laughs> On this Christian journey. Mm. On this Christian journey. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I wish I had my angel message cards right here with me. I wish I did, but I don't. And that's okay. That's okay. Because I believe this has been a good word. A good word. And you know, people will discourage you. They will try to. And they may even succeed sometimes. But we know in our heart, we know in our minds, we know in our spirit, in our soul, who our Lord and Savior is. As long as we know that, 
And what we do, we do in the name of Jesus, knowing and trusting that he will correct our ways, our errors. He will correct us. And it ain't always in some negative way like we do here in this world, you know. So, I thank God for sharing this word straight from my heart with you today. It's a very um, important piece of scripture and reminder to us the commitment, the commitment that Christ makes to us, the commitment he makes to us, that there is nothing that can separate us from God. Nothing. Nothing. Not one thing. Not one thing. Not one thing. Nothing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And thank you. Please click subscribe and like. And follow me on Instagram, too. Instagram. Dr. Leisha the Preacher on Instagram. Mm, be blessed.